So have you ever seen the James Bond film where he remotely starts his BMW from his phone? Yeah, I've got that hint. So we've arrived up at the Redditch branch of Pandora at Car Alarms to get the Storm Plus package installed on my M140i and they're also going to be installing the remote start feature so I can do it from my key and also my phone. So I'm going to feel like James Bond. So as you're probably aware, car theft in the UK is rising quite drastically. Um, and I don't really want to get that stolen, especially as I've had it tampered with a lot recently. So um, yeah, it'd be cool to get a super, super high security system installed on the car. What we'll do is I think we'll take the car into the unit, we'll get the guys to install it. What they'll do then is they'll run through all the features with me and I'll probably take it home and have a proper play with it. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what you can do with it. So right, it's now a few hours on and we've had the Storm Plus package installed and I'm joined with Anthony from Pandora Alarms and uh, if you could run through a little bit about Pandora and what you guys do and what you've done to my car because it's pretty cool. So a little bit about us at Pandora. This here is Pandora HQ in Redditch. We've also got another place down in London as well but we've also got dealers which fit our system all over the country as well. This is a specialist package which is designed to fit on most vehicles. The Storm Plus is designed to be an immobilizer with GSM connection so it means it's connected to Brett's phone. If anything happens to the system, someone attacks the car, hits it, tilt, or something like that, you'll get a call, a yep. notification through text message, and you'll also get a push notification as yeah, well. Which you can see everything live. It's quite a nice peace of mind, isn't it, really? Exactly, yeah. But the, the whole purpose of this system is to stop it from being stolen. So things like relay theft, OBD port theft, this is securing against all those features, and also anti-hijack as well, which is something we're going to run through in a bit yeah. as well. There's, there's probably not a vehicle on the road today that we can't fit this system oh, wow. onto. So we've got Range Rovers, we've got Mercedes. We've got Range Rovers are quite popular, I imagine. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> no, we, we, it's, it's a big thing at the moment. Yeah. But BMWs have always been high target, especially M cars. But um, yeah, if you could, should we go through some of the features? Yeah, let's do it. So Perfect. I think first thing we should show remote start, I think. Let's do I think that's quite a cool one. So remote start, you can either use the key or you can use the app, because obviously with this, you could do it anywhere in the world. So if you've got the app up here, look, if we go ahead and hold down the button in the middle, keep holding it down until it goes blue, the lights should flash, and then it should start up. Just like that. So now we can go ahead and try and shut off the car. So we go ahead and hold down it once again, wait for it to go blue, and then it will cut out. Should we go through the anti-hijack and show that? Yeah, so there's two ways to activate the anti-hijack. So if Brett was called out the traffic lights, for example, as long as he's got his security tag on him, as soon as he sees the door open, basically he's pulled out the vehicle, the tag leaves the vicinity of the car, car drives off down the road. Yep. It will start to beep and flash to warn you, just in case you've left your tag behind, yep. and then it will safely shut the vehicle down. Now, it will safely do it in motion by bringing the car to a halt, so it's not a case of it just kills it dead yep. uh, at speed. Just to clarify, so if I left the tag inside the car yep. and they drive off, I could then call the number yep. okay, that I have for the car and yes, you heard that right. My car now has its own mobile number. Now, we forgot to mention this in this segment, but basically what it happens is I've got a number for the car. I've also got a passcode and then a load of commands which I can give the car to either turn it on, turn it off, or whatever. There's loads of features with it. I then can disable it from the phone, yeah? That's right, yeah. So, so I can basically not have my phone, wallet, the tag, nothing. I can run away and find someone else's phone, call this number, enter in a code, and then disable it. So exactly, yeah. So yeah, it gives you a good peace of mind that no matter what you do, no matter what they take or whatever, you can still disarm the car. Another scenario is if you've got your keys and your tag and you've left them together yeah. uh, inside the house and someone does drive off in your car, you've then got that option to ring the system 
and shut it down from okay, the yeah, yeah, You can course. then also track it as well, so yep. you better see where the vehicle is, so you're keeping in contact with it all the time. Right, so we're now gonna run through the anti-hijack system. So, Anthony's just gonna jump in the car. So, the engine running. We've obviously got the keys. We pop it into a... Yeah, so that's like basically gonna simulate that the tag has now left the car because it's got a block in it, isn't it? So, that's right. Yeah. We open the door, so. You're being pulled out. So, uh, yeah, I'm being pulled out. This is me, look. He's inside. Anti-hijack takes about 45 seconds to activate, and that's just to make sure that it's definitely you that's uh, left the vehicle and you're not sort of broken the tag or something like that. So what will happen now is the car will start to beep and flash. If there is road users, you will obviously notify them that something's going to happen with the vehicle. So we'll wait for this to happen now on the car. Yeah, and it does bring it to like a safe stop, doesn't it? It puts yeah. the hazards on and does bring it to a safe stop. It doesn't just stop and like emergency stop in the middle of the road. And there we go, it started to beep. Yeah, so this is it. So you also see as well, the hazards are now on. Any second now, it will start to count down and then stop the engine. And there we go. How cool is that? That is very cool. <laughs> so just imagine your people are trying to run out because they don't know and they're not gonna be able to start it back up, are they? No, so there's no way of starting the car now. Until yeah. you reintroduce the tag back in the system, which is gonna be with you. Yep. Down the end of the road. But so basically the only thing they can do is run off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so how cool is that? So it's now a few days later and I'm back at home and what I thought I'd do is just run you over the whole system once again. Now I've had a few days to play around with it because I'm going to be honest, when they first showed me everything I was like, I have no idea what to do with this and how it works. But Anthony basically said, go home, try it out, see what you think and let us know how you get on. And I did just that and now I'm starting to get used to the system and you know, it's becoming really helpful. But before we actually run through everything, I just want to say thank you really to the guys at Pandora. All of the staff there were so nice um, and just were so welcoming and just they really took their time and effort to you know help record this video and make me understand the system. And they also uh, hooked me up with this little bag and inside, They've given me a calendar, they've given me this pouch, which I'll show you in a second. They give me an air freshener, they give me a key ring, they give me a lanyard, they give me a spare tag, so I've got a spare tag with a battery. And they've also given me a couple of stickers, so that's all really cool. And also, they give me a pen as well. So yeah, cheers guys for the goodie bag. And also, quick side note, if you haven't already, please do make sure you've clicked the like button on this video and also subscribed if you're new because there's plenty more content coming on this car. But right, let's run through some of the features. Now, a lot of this is going to be repeated for what you've just seen, but I thought I'm going to run over in a little bit more detail about what each thing does. So we're going to start off by taking a look at the app itself. So this is the main screen that you get on it. Okay, it currently tells me my tire pressure's there. It says that it's locked. It says the mileage in kilometers. It says it's in park. It tells you here the battery voltage, how much fuel it's got, the engine temperature, the temperature inside the car, and then also the outside temperature using the uh, sensor on the car. It also tells you where the car is. You can put it in service mode, make it alarm, uh, make alarm sound, unlock it, lock it, turn the car on. And on this section over here, you can actually see all the history of what you've done when you've like locked it and unlocked it, which is pretty cool. You can pop the boot and all sorts. So let's start with remote start. So you can either use the app or your keys. So for example, on the app, you just hold down this button here and then you'll see the lights flicker and then if you give it about 10 seconds because obviously it's got to do all of its checks and communicate the car make sure it's all safe it will then uh, flash again make a couple of beeps and then turn on there you go just like that that is now on and then the app will tell you that it's on so there we go look you can see in the top left hand corner it's showing that it's on and then i can cut the system by holding down the button and then it will cut the system out which is which is so cool now, if you want to remote start it with the key, all you've got to do is click the lock button three times with a little bit of pause in between. So it'll go one, two, three. It will then flash, do the exact same sequence, make sure it's all safe to boot up, and then... It will then start up just like that. Now, just sort of obviously a side note, the key only works when it's in range, like it would when you normally unlock the car, but the app works pretty much anywhere in the world, which is absolutely crazy. And it will shut off after about 10 to 15 minutes if I haven't unlocked it, got in and driven off. So, you know, if you fall asleep or whatever, it's not just gonna stay on all day. So another feature with this system that we didn't show earlier on is if, for example, someone came up to the car or maybe I was parked in a supermarket and someone hits it with a trolley, let me just give you an example of that. There's the, uh, there's the trolley. Um, it's now flashing and it's actually 
If I check my phone, there we go. It is now actually calling me. My phone is calling me to say that my car has been hit. How clever is that? So what I'm gonna show you now is a feature that Anthony did show us just a moment ago, but I thought I'd run over it just once more just so you definitely understand how it sort of works. So let's give you a bit of a scenario. I'm driving along and I pull up to a set of traffic lights and someone pulls me out of the car or someone, you know, says get out the car or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I would really hope that this wouldn't happen, but it does happen. Say, if I, you know, if I jumped out the car and they're like giving me a key, so obviously I can give them the keys. They've driven off and they've got my car and my keys. They think they're, you know, they've won, you know, they've taken off the car and uh, they've now got my car. However, the tag is left on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tag in this pouch. And what this is going to simulate is if the tag has left the car, so the car's gone off and I've got the tag. So by putting this in there and closing it, that is now going to simulate the fact that the car's driven off. What we'll do is we'll jump out the car just to give it a proper representation of what would happen. Because obviously I wouldn't be in the car at this point. So uh, yeah, for example, they've driven off. I'm stuck. I've got the tag. And uh, let's just see what happens. So there we go. The hazards are now flashing. And bear in mind, I've got the tag in here. And the keys are in the car as if they've kept the keys. And hopefully in about 30 seconds or so, the car will completely cut out. There we go. So now if they try to start the car again and drive off, look what happens. No matter what they do, it just will not start. The only way it's gonna start is if I take this tag back out again to introduce it back into the system. So now the tag's back out again. I'll put it down there. Start to uh, try to start the car again. It, sometimes it can take a few attempts just to uh, recognize the tags back in the car. There we go, worked first time. Now it's recognized the tags back in the car, it starts back up again. So yeah, how cool is that? But as we mentioned before, if for example, they took the tag, the keys, my phone, and you know, all my belongings, and they just drove off, I can just find the nearest person with a phone, say, can I borrow your phone? And then type in my mobile number, for the car, my code, and then also the command that I want to do, which will obviously be disarm and to stop the vehicle, um, and then it, you know, stop and do the exact same thing. So it is crazy what the system system can do. Now, on a day-to-day -day situation, the Storm Plus package is essentially like two-factor authentication. So you get in the car and lock the car with the keys as normal. You can lock the car with the keys as normal. Everything will work exactly the same. The only thing is you need to do is to have the tag on you. If you think about logging into like Gmail or Facebook or YouTube, 99% of these services all require two-factor authentication or they recommend you use it. And that is normally like a password and then a, a, a text to your phone. And this is exactly the same. In order to turn the car on, I need the keys, which is one-factor authentication, and the second one is the tag. So it's just two-factor authentication for my car. Now, hopefully that has answered a few of the questions you might have had at the start of the video, but if you do any further questions, I'll leave all their socials down below and also their website link. So go check them out, go check out what packages they do and uh, drop them a message if you have any questions. But yeah, once again, a massive thank you to the guys at Pandora Alarms for sorting all this all out and getting this all set up. It's one of those things that's been a bit of a learning curve, working out how to work the system. But at the end of the day, this is like one of the world's strongest alarm systems. So, you know, it's not gonna be strong straightforward is it so totally recommend you know and i look forward to using it as the time goes on with the ownership of this car but yeah but once again a thank you so much for watching if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like rating comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys very very soon in a brand new video take care